Hello and welcome to Crafty Learn Spanish. Today we're going to look at something which is uh, very important, question words. So we've got a list and we use them in English as well and uh, you really need to learn these ones because uh, it'll help a lot. You can ask things with just by one word, just by saying one word. Uh, what? When? Where? Why? <laughs> How? Oh. <laughs> where? Where? Where am I? Uh, so we're going to look at these today, and uh, we're going to have a, a say a little example and introduce a few things as well. So we're going to begin at the beginning, which is always a good place to start, as I say, because if you begin at the end, then you're finished. <laughs> okay. So we're going to look at the first one, and the first one is cuando. Now, as you notice. They have an upside down question mark and a, a a normal question mark, and this is how they do questions in written Spanish. Okay, you don't have to say this. It's like quotation marks in English, I suppose. Okay, uh, but don't worry. And on uh, all of them have got accents because we can use it these as well when we're not asking a question. So sometimes it's a question and then it's an answer. When are you going? When I want to. So when you say when I want to, cuando quiero, when I want to, cuando quiero, you wouldn't have the accent there. Okay. Um, but with the accent, it turns it into the question. So, okay. So we're going to like cuando is when. Simple as that. Okay. So for example, we have a here cuando and terminas. Remember the last. Uh, this is the thing. With the syllable we um, accent. Uh, cuando terminas. Uh, when do you? That's terminar, as in terminate, means to finish. Okay, so don't worry about the vocabulary because there's going to be something uh, that we're going to introduce later. But that's no problem. Um, and uh, we'll look in future videos. So, but they're just neat, they're just uh, good. Uh, examples. So the next one we look at is donde, where, where. Now the <laughs> donde está el baño uh, is a good good thing. Where donde está? And remember the está el baño and then en ye baño baño, not the bathroom, the baño. Okay, donde está el baño? I, I recommend you learn this very quickly because it's very useful. Uh, oop, okay. Now, when you say where to, really, I think, I think maybe it's better, but adonde. The but a is normally to or at in Spanish. Uh, so, in, for example, um, this would be where, where to, to where, to where, we would say. It. It's like old English, to where are we going? Here it is. Here it is. Where are we going? But uh, oh, I've got a posh accent. All of a sudden, sorry. Um, it says, "Adonde vamos?" To where we do we go, or where are we going? So, "Adonde vamos?" Where to? All right. So uh, this is more about the direction, or the you know, the uh, "donde." That is more about the position. So where is in direction, and where is in position? Okay, and. Uh, the next one, de donde, uh, is where from, of where, of of where are you? So de donde eres, and they put tu, just to make it uh, de donde eres tu, where are you from, you. As it is. And there's sometimes they do this little thing where they put the, the, like we do in English. We would say, of where are you, <laughs> my young meister. Yeah, where are you? Uh, uh, where are you from? From where are you? Uh, it's like an old old novel. It's quite funny actually. A lot of uh, when you try to translate Spanish, it sounds like old English because they follow the rules that we don't do so much anymore. Okay. Now we're going to look at the next one, which is cuánto, and cuánto is something. Uh, you have to be very careful with um, because and cuantos which is the plural okay 
uh, quanto in English is how much, right? Now, much in English uh, is something, yeah, for example, how much water is in the cup, you know? It's something you can account. We call them uncountables. So you have to use how much. Uh, and you want to make the difference between how much and how many is uh, you have to be very careful of that but in, in Spanish it's all the same but in, a, in we're going to look at this later on obviously the difference because we, in English we have these what we call countable and uncountable nouns things you can count which are like coins and money which you can't you can't really count money you can count coins and uh, you know coins and notes but you can't count money it's money is just the general name for it but in this sense we use quanto for example here quanto cuesta remember the irregular verb costar you know to the wa the water verb <laughs> so it cost water costs a lot quanto cuesta how much is it okay and how many quanto son how many are they uh, so many here, you could say how many people. You can't count people because people is a general noun. Uh, no, uh, here it's talking about. Oh, you you can count people. Sorry, it's fifteen people persons. There are fifteen persons. That's what I'm trying to say. And next one is K. What K? Oh, uh, what? And. Uh, we're going to look at this later as well. We're going to do this in a, a special thing because it's very strange for us. Yeah, but it just means what do you like to drink? Que te gusta tomar? Tomar is to take. I mean, they say take as in take food and thing. But que is the question. Don't worry too much about this. This will all be explained. Uh, you just can't explain it all at once. And the next one is por que? Por que? Now what they do... Uh, is they have two things in uh, Spanish um, because would be these two words joined together without the accent and it's saying for what uh, for what purpose why that's what it means for what purpose or for what uh, or to what ends <laughs> why por qué preguntas y preguntar is uh, to ask why do you ask Por qué preguntas? why do you ask so that's all good for that one como is there how okay uh, and, uh, and you see it as in como estas how are you so we've looked at that so it's not too bad but I want to point a little thing out uh, sometimes when we don't hear people and we say what sorry what right Instead of saying what, the Spanish say como. So, 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 how was that? How was that? How was it said? Uh, yeah. Maybe you can think of it like that. Okay. <laughs> um, cual uh, is which, which is very important. Now, cual is oh, cual is mío. Mío is mine, which is mine. Okay, and. Uh, which ones? You usually, generally, that's say when when you're in plural. Which ones? Because you, you you're talking about much more than something. Which cuál es son tuyos? Which ones are yours? Tuyos is uh, yours in um, plural. So don't worry too much about this. But the which one? Cuál cuál quieres? For example, which do you want? Cuál quieres is it different from cuál qué quieres? What do you want? Why do you? Porque lo quieres. Why do you want it? Porque lo quieres. Why do you want it? Lo being it. Como lo quieres. How do you want it? Okay. And then the next quien, which is who, or whom for us. Maybe whom is probably the best translation, but we use who. Yeah. Quien is él. Who is he, right? Who is he? And they have. I'll just type it in here because I didn't think it was. Oh, 
Where's my little um, upside down? And again, and my upside. There we go. This is whose. I'm just going to type this in after. Yeah. Then you'll be like the again this. Oh, my accent key isn't working. It's really annoying having to write accents out and all these stupid things, but uh, that's the price you pay. I think it's starting to disappear, me, to be honest. I mean, people are changing to the more system where, you know, you just put one here, but it's still, it's still there. It's still there. The key in this, and that would be, whose is it? Whose is it? It's mine. It's me. It's me. It's mine. It is mine. So these are all the question words, and uh, they're not too difficult. You just have to learn them, and uh, I think the best way to learn them um, for me was uh, you 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 learn the ones you use the most first. For example, you're going to use K a lot. You're going to use por K. You're going to use como. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, and donde, and cuando. The rest you start to pick up afterwards. Cuanto you might use, because we use that a lot. And then one by one, but just start with one that is most common. Que, okay. and and do practice with it. Uh, que quieres? Uh, okay. Que comes? What do you eat? Que haces? What do you do? Okay, and then, por qué, por qué comes? Why do you eat? Well, to live. Okay, to live. <laughs> so we use all that. So these are all the uh, question words. And uh, one by one, you'll just pick them up. Always, you can come back here for a reference. Uh, there's no problem there. That's what this is for. Um, and just remember, the pronunciation, although it has an, for example, here, the, this is the... Um, pronunciation anyway the last second and last syllable cuando and the same with this one donde okay cuanto cuantos uh, que well que is very difficult anyway porque como this one maybe is a bit more important como because there's another word como uh, it's difficult cual and cual is quien so that's the pronunciation, but don't worry, bit by bit, as I say, do the ones you know the first, K is going to be the most common one, and, and practice it with uh, what, what we've learned so far. Okay, well, I hope this is one, this is just a little video to help you learn some vocabulary that is very important, and then we'll be using it later on. So, take away, take care, sorry, <laughs> take wares, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you later, bye bye. <laughs>